Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, let's do this problem right here. The question is asking, uh, what is the pressure required required to melt the ice? We have the we have an ice cube right here that's provided by 25 centimeter length and 0 0.1 millimeter width. And uh, they they have given the bulk modulus of ice that's uh, 8.8 times 10 to the power of 9 pascal. So let's see how we can find uh, whether what's the pressure required to melt the ice, right? So to find that one, we have an equation right there that is a bulk modulus, I mean, bulk modulus is equal to stress over strain, stress over strain, and stress can be written as F over A, that's same as pressure, and then strain is going to be the delta V over V, the volume difference. So if you com uh, compare water and ice, the volume difference is going to be almost like 9% right? So this value is going to be 0 0.09 because we divide it by 100. So that's going to be 0 0.09 and uh, F over A that's going to be that's what we are trying to find, right? So let's say this P. This is the, if you find this process, this is going to be the this is the process that's going to be required to find the melting point and bulk modulus that's already provided. So we can find this one by rearranging things by rearranging this equation. So let's rearrange this one. This is going to be P is equal to bulk modulus times 0 0.09. And he, we have the bulk modulus already, that's 8.8 .8 times 10 to the power of 9, right? So this is going to be 8.8 .8 times 10 to the power of 9 Pascal, Pascal times 0 0.09. And that's going to give us 0 0.792 times 10 to the power of 9 Pascal or you can write Newton per meter square both are same thing right both are same thing now the second question is asking if a 150 pounds person stand on the ice is the pressure enough to melt the ice so first of all we have this one unit in Newton per meter square first this convert this one into uh, pounds per inch square and let's calculate this one right his pressure and compare right so let's calculate uh, change this one into pounds per inch square to change this one we know that uh, in one newton in one newton we have in one pound we have 4.48 newton so we have we have to write in such a way this newton cancels right so we put one pound on top divided by 4.48 newton so in this way Newton cancels and we will get pounds per meter square but we have to convert this meter inch meter into inch square. So to convert that one we know that in one I mean in one inches we have 2.54 centimeter but if you want to convert this meter that's going to be 0 0.0254. So we had to write, so we had to write in such a way this meter square cancels. So meter square is going to be on top. So this is going to be 0 0.0254 square meter square over 1 square inch square, right? So from this one, we can convert this one into inch square. And if you calculate this value, that's going to give you 114,000 pounds per inch square. Now we have the pressure that is required to melt the ice. So let's see whether this person, uh, this person create enough pressure to satisfy this condition. I mean, in in this this much pressure, if he can achieve this much pressure, then he can melt the ice. But we have to make sure whether it will work. Okay. We know that pressure is equal to force over area. So here pounds, in pounds inch unit, pounds is a unit of force, right? So we can directly write that one. 
if it's given in kilogram then we have to write mg but in pounds unit we, have, we just write pounds as of course so pounds over area area is going to be this area right here 25 area of the ice that's 25 centimeter 0 0.1 meter that's ice skate right ice skate so that's 0 0.1 meter 1 millimeter so we have to convert this one into 0 0.1 millimeter so let's convert this one into centimeter first so that's going to be 0 0.1 Zero 0.01 centimeter times 25 centimeter right in that way both the same unit and we can calculate the area so this is going to give us but uh, here we have an inch square so we have to convert this one into inch square and we know that uh, one inch contain 2.454 centimeter so we have to write in such a way it cancels so let's write one inch on bottom 1 square in square over 2.54 square centimeter square in this way centimeter square centimeter square cancels and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 3870 pounds per inch square but this value is not enough to melt the ice right because we need this much 140,000 but we don't have enough of uh, enough of pressure to melt this ice so this person can't uh, melt the ice right so that's how we do this kind of problems see you next time